Setting up a development environment with MAMP with Dreamweaver is pretty simple to do, but it just takes a little bit of different settings uh, than I usually would by setting up a Dreamweaver site if I was just dealing with HTML and CSS. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my site definitions and I'm going to click on new site. And in this site setup dialog box, I'm just going to type in the name of my project, library system. Uh, I'm going to find the site root folder, just like I usually would, but this time because I'm dealing with MAMP, it's probably in my htdocs folder, which is inside the MAMP folder on a Mac, or it might be on a htdocs folder in uh, uh, in uh, exam or any of those places on a PC. Just find wherever that folder is where all your files are, and I'm going to move in, find my site root folder, and choose it. That's fine. Now, I'm going to have to deal with servers here as well. But the servers that I'm going to deal with when I'm dealing with MAMP are slightly different than just a normal HTML server that I might be uploading to across a network. So I'm going to click on this Add New Server plus button, and I'm going to give the server name, well, I can call mine MAMP, but it's just a label, it doesn't really matter what I put in there. Connect using FTP is used for going across a network, but really this is on my local machine, so I don't want to use the FTP protocol, I just want to communicate locally with my MAMP server. And the server folder, here I'm going to move in and I'm going to choose that same folder um, where all my files are um, and I'll choose that site root folder again and the web URL, this is the URL that we need um, when we go to live view in Dreamweaver so that will act like a browser so it is really just the same folder that I should see up here if I go to my browser and type it in so I can see the actual menu page of my uh, project so whatever that is minus the htdocs so or localhost in my case php test folder lab 20a underscore library system folder and um, it's just a site root folder but just through the url so that's the basic setup i also need to go into advanced here and just tell dreamweaver what type of server model i'm using which in my case if it's map it's php and mysql so i'm going to choose on that i'm going to save all of those options and uh, now Lastly, just before I leave this site setup dialog box, I need to make sure to check on this testing box here uh, to let Dreamweaver know that it's a testing server. So I'm going to click on save and any kind of alerts come up here, it's usually OK just to click OK. So the root folder you've chosen is inside the folder for uh, site PHP test, that's fine. I'm going to click OK on that. As usual, my files panel gets populated with all the different files that are in my site root folder and I can open up any of those and I can see them, that's fine. But the real core advantage in doing this in Dreamweaver, as besides getting all the uh, normal tools that I'm used to, is I can flick into Live View and it will actually work the database for me. So these are getting populated straight from the database, which is fantastic. And that's how to set up a development environment uh, in Dreamweaver using MAMP.